Hi guys and welcome to House of Healer. Today is a hair haul video in which I'm going to share with you the most recent hair care things that I bought the other day. I ran out of some of my uh, deep conditioning treatments uh, during the second lockdown, which was really quite frustrating. Uh, so I have topped up to make sure that I always have at least four treatments supply um, in the coming future. By the way, if you're new to the channel, um, this is my second channel where I share just a lot of lifestyle stuff and it's just really random. I cover a little bit of hair, a little bit of skincare. Um, a bit of house maintenance, house organization, a bit of DIY stuff, just everything that you would expect that touch on the life of a mother of five young children living a very family-centered life, but also wants to learn how to look after herself. Um, so if you're interested in that sort of thing, do subscribe. I put out uh, content pretty regularly. So. To start off with, as I mentioned before, I ran out of my deep hair conditioning treatment during lockdown, so my hair kind of had to do not a proper deep conditioning uh, the last Sunday that I did it during my hair day. So I did a little bit of research and I found out that this ORS hair mayonnaise is very highly rated and I thought it would be a good idea for me to get this one especially since I actually relaxed my hair using the ORS relaxer. So I got the big tub which should, you know, keep me supplied um, through quite a long period of time. I've never tried it before, but I will report back um, on what I think about that. The other thing that I also got was some more uh, leave-in conditioner. This is the Cantu Argan Oil one and this is supposed to have less protein than the Shea Butter one and so this one is for my moisturizing and sealing routine which I do every other night because I don't actually do it every night but I had run out of this and now um, picked this up as well. So happy. Uh, something that's new to me is the ORS Olive Oil Replenishing Conditioner which apparently I've read is supposed to be good. Yeah, I'm quite keen to use this and see how that goes again because it's ORS and that's the, that's the uh, relaxer that I use in my hair. So quite keen to try that. And then the last thing that I got was the wrap set mousse. And that's because I like to do, you know, the vintage roller set on my hair, especially just after, I probably do it about once a month. I do it once a month and to date when I've been doing it, I haven't been putting anything on to uh, protect the hair, especially in winter. My house is so cold that I can't, the hair just doesn't air dry. So I end up having to use my hooded dryer, which is very useful. And I use it on the low setting and I will do 20 minutes under the hood and then an hour away and then another 20 minutes so it's done over a long period of time but at least it makes sure that the hair grows dry but because i'm using heat i thought it might be a good idea to actually put something to protect my hair from the heat so i'm going to be trying this out and i did try to stick as much um as possible into the ors uh, range so yeah, I will report back um, about how I got on with these on my hair. And just for context, I had natural hair for the last eight years or so, but I just got to a point where I just didn't want natural hair anymore. And I shaved it all off and then I rocked a bald head for quite a while. But the problem with the bald head was that my my hair just grows so fast that within two weeks it would need to be shaved again. And I just got tired of doing that. Um, as well and so then I just let it I just let it grow and after a few months I basically decided that I'm just going to go back to um, relaxing but instead of relaxing I texturized it I didn't like the texturized hair because it required as much work as my natural hair and the whole point of texturizing had been that I should be able to just easily comb my hair without having um, to do uh, hours and hours of detangling and then I relaxed my texturized hair 
and I've been happier with the texture then. I really like um, how it's looking. So this is the hair, two weeks post relaxer. I relaxed it two weeks ago. Don't look at my hormonal acne, got a hormonal acne breakout. But this is what we have, and I'm very happy um, with this, and I'm enjoying looking after it. It's very easy to um, do the nighttime routine and to actually style it in the morning. Okay, so those, those are the things that I have. I will be back very soon reviewing the Kera Care Umecto Leave-In Conditioner because I bought that a few months ago and I've used that up. It's only a small bottle and I've got thoughts on that. So do subscribe um, for more stuff like that. And also remember to leave a like and any comments below would help the channel and I appreciate that. Thank you so much for watching. Um, until I see you next time, guys.